Hello, my name is Eve Walters, Division Manager of the Coconino County Health and Human Services Environmental Health Program. I'm here today to talk to you about the Environmental Services Code revisions that are occurring this year. The Environmental Services Codes are used by the Environmental Health Program to inspect local businesses, including food establishments, medical marijuana dispensaries, hotels and motels, campgrounds, trailer parks, children's camps, body art establishments, and pools and spas. You may be wondering why this is important. Businesses and innovations are continuously evolving and changing. As such, it is important that regulations keep up with new technologies and emerging trends. Revising the codes assists the Environmental Health Program to ensure that the program is keeping the community safe and healthy in both efficient and relevant ways. Code revisions are scheduled to go before the Coconino County Board of Supervisors by the end of this year. It will be open for public comment. If you would like to attend, please visit the website for the date and time of this board session. If the county board chooses to adopt the revised codes, the codes could go into effect in March 2020. There are a few key items that will be different in the updated codes. If you are a trailer coach park or campground, owners and managers will be required to ensure RVs and travel trailers connect their sewage hose from the trailer to the sewer ri sewage riser so that it is properly supported and in a continuously downward angle. This will help prevent sewage leakage onto the ground. Privies at these facilities must be fly tight. For hotels and motels, and this is something that we've been talking about since 2017, if pests are found in a room, including but not limited to bed bugs, lice, roaches, mice, etc., the establishment will be required to close the room and not rent it until proof of hiring a pest control company or other abatement measures have been taken. The room will remain closed until reinspected by the Coconino County health inspectors and pests are no longer present. For pools and spas, the Environmental Health Program is proposing to allow the, the facility to have a solid panel access door that opens inward into the pool area if and only if the door remains locked 100% of the time and is only accessible by a physical key or key card. Food services, and this includes everything from restaurants to mobile units to push carts, the food code will not be addressed until a final draft is adopted at the state level. This adoption by the state of Arizona is anticipated to occur in late 2020. Businesses that could be affected by food code changes will be notified at a later date. In general, outdoor waste containers must be fly tight and waterproof. As I mentioned, we would like to hear from you so please visit the Coconino County Health and Human Services website for both a breakdown of the potential changes to the Environmental Services Code and if you have questions or concerns, there is an opportunity to pose those questions and receive and offer feedback through a survey link on the webpage. Please visit the www.coconino.az.gov forward slash environmental health. Thank you and have a wonderful day.